Hey, hey, everybody. So I'm driving behind a U-Haul rental truck and I figured I'd just jump on and give you guys a little tip. Take out the insurance. Your auto policy will transfer to a rental car, but it needs to be something similar to what you have. And that U-Haul truck in front of me, that is a commercial vehicle. We would not write that on your personal auto and your personal auto is not gonna cover it. So you 110 percent need to spend whatever money it is that they want to charge you for insurance for the day the two days whatever um when it comes to a regular rental car you know you're on vacation you have a toyota camry at home and you're renting something similar in the united states where we'll cover that the cover the same coverage that you have on your car will transfer to that which also means if you do not have collision and comprehensive you take out the rental insurance. Honestly, I recommend you take out the rental insurance anyway. I just rented a car a week ago and I spent the extra money because it's not gonna go in my insurance policy if I get in an accident um, in the rental car. It's gonna go on the rental car insurance and it's not gonna affect me really. So that would be the best way to do it. No matter what kind of car you're renting, you really should just spend the extra money and get the insurance to avoid putting a claim in on your policy and it'll repair and fix any damages on the car if you you know return it with any so reach out if you have any questions always happy to help and have a great thursday night guys